Yeah, man, it's your boy, I'm Philly, and we are back with Guess the Player. Um, as you guys can tell, I really do struggle when I play these ones. Black and white. Oh. Uh, um, shoot, it's not the person I thought it was. Hopefully today it goes a lot smoother. So, player, you there? Yep. How are you? Good? Very good, thanks. You? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, okay, first things first. Um, first and foremost, what shoe size are you? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's got absolutely nothing to do with like, <laughs> guessing a player. I don't even know why I've asked that. Yeah. I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's carry on. <laughs> All right, one thing I do look at. Um, I used to play football myself. Um, and for me, like my, the appearance on the pitch was very important. So I always, I always look at like whether football players wear like their socks short, whether they just got them normal, whether they're like, do you know what I mean? Whether they got like the Henri style from back in the days. How do you wear your socks? I'd say normal. Normal. So you're either a midfielder, defender, tidy player. Oh, but I nearly came off. <laughs> Uh, there we go. So he wears his socks normal. That's what we got so far. Where's the socks normal size eight and a half? Your hair. Do you tend to put gel in it or do you just leave it how it is? Like, do you have like these, um, what's it called? What's that hairstyle called? Do you know what I'm trying to do here? <sighs> comb over. Do you have a comb over? <laughs> um, slightly. I'd see a bit of product in it. Definitely from England. And you see when someone says slightly, that means his hair's in between. It might be half comb over, half something else. That's why, or maybe it could even be a comb over. You just don't want to give it away. What number do you play with? Do I have to tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he really doesn't want me to find out. Yeah, that, that would help. Why, is, is the number so obvious in your humble opinion? Mm, not really, but... Yeah, go on, go for it then. Give me the number. 14. 14? Might even be a striker then. Or a winger. Um, okay. How would you describe your playing style? You know, like if we was to go on FIFA and I'm controlling <laughs> and I'm going to click on a Bami and you know I'm going to see like 99 pace. Like, what is what? How would you describe your play style? Are you just opening up the ball, pass and move. You driving in, putting balls in behind. What do you do? Everything. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> yeah, the gaffer might be watching this. You hear me? All right. <laughs> He does everything, he says. <laughs> Have you made an England appearance? Yeah. What beach do you wear? Nike. Uh, more precise, the, the, the Mercurials, the Phantoms? TMO. So far, right, you know. I know everyone watching at home, like, oh my God, Philly, have you got that? Death or midfielder or defender? 100 and million, 10%. 100 and million, 10%. Off the top of my head, who wears Tiempo's and Crown? Hey, what does Van Dyke wear? I'm not saying you're Van Dyke, but I'm just saying, just out of curiosity. I'm not sure. Who does he play for? Who? Van Dyke. Who does who play for? Van Dyke. You're taking the flipping pee pee. Van Dyke is, in my humble opinion, the best defender in the world. I think we all know who Van Dyke plays for. Yeah, well, he doesn't play for England, though. Yeah, where's he from again? He's Dutch, isn't it? Yeah, I think. 
No, you said Jeff first. Get <laughs> <laughs> up! You said it's up! <laughs> did you not hear that at home? Well, yeah, I, I think. <laughs> So say no more. Look, this is how you've given it away. I know that, yeah, that's it. I know Van Dyke plays for Liver. And you seem to answer that too well about Van Dyke. So my guess is you play for Liver. Cool. And if you do, congratulations. Oh, I get him now. Oh, I get him now. Yeah, if you was a Liverpool player, you would have been like, oh, my guy, thank you, like, I don't know. But I'd get a reaction there. Because <sighs> he's just muted the mic, I sat and he's loud. I don't know, my imagination's going wild now. All right, so let's round him up. What have we got? Where's the socks normal? Size eight and a half. Where's 14? Tiempos, England appearance. Does everything, puts them in behind. Sprints, parts, turn out. Shoot, long. Oh my God, look, this is how I'm gonna get you. This is how I'm gonna get you. Watch how smooth I do this. Have we met before? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, Jordan! <laughs> Jordan, I know it's you, tell me it's you. It is me. Jordan! <laughs> how are you, my guy, are you good? Yeah, very good, mate. How are but you? Last time we spoke, man, it was crazy. Do you remember our conversation? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that, that time. It was you and uh, Joe on the same day. Um, and where where was we at then? What, what was the sort of things we spoke about? I think at that point you have, you have, you won the Champions League already, didn't you? Yeah, I think it was and just after that, wasn't point. it? And it yeah. was just a, a case of like pushing hard now to win the Prem. Um, how does it feel? You've cried twice in a year. I witnessed you cry twice <laughs> this year, bro. <laughs> how, how did it feel? Emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I know there's big as each other, but did, did one trophy feel more special than the other, Jordan? Ooh, and why is um, so? I think different, different, different reasons. Yeah. You know, I think obviously, obviously, Champions League was was a huge moment and such a special moment, moment not only for me but for the team, for the club. To get over the line and win a, a major trophy was was massive for us, you know. So that was, and the way we done it, the semi final of Barcelona and then the final against Spurs, I think was 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 incredible, really. So it was it was really emotional and um, really special that one. But then um, Premier League obviously is something that the fans have wanted for a long time, thirty years waiting. So that's so special to be able to give them. Give them that after so long, so I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to choose between the two. I, I, at the time that you won the Champions League, I mean, did, did that, like you know, as, as the skipper, did that give you more hope that you lot could really win the Prem? I mean, you've won the most difficult cup in Europe, and then do you know what I mean? Like, did, I think, yeah, I think, I think it gives confidence and it gives you a taste of the success to make you want to get back there and, and achieve it again, definitely. But I've always had the confidence that we're we were good enough to to win the Premier League. If you look at the season before that, you know, finishing on 97 points was an amazing season for us. Um, and to not win it was tough, but it just showed you how good City were that year. Um, but I think to react in the way we did, to then go on a few weeks later, win Champions League, yeah. give us a real boost and, and confidence, and showed our desire to wanna to wanna be better and win trophies. And since then, we've kicked on and won won three after that. Mm. How's the energy been uh, in and around the club, like with all the boys? I can imagine you lot got group chats and WhatsApp and the lot. What's it like? The vibes yeah. good, right? Energy's high. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, it's it's been like that for a long time. To be honest, it's great bunch of lads, great dressing room. Um, so the energy is is really positive, really good, um, as it always is. To be fair, for a long long time now. And Jordan, I have to ask, in your opinion, who has been a standout player in the squad? Oh, I don't think I could give you an answer because I feel like the whole team, the whole squad has been so good and so consistent mm. um, that I don't think 
it's down to one individual and there's been one individual standout. I think we've been so good as a collective and you look across the team or across the whole squad and there's so much quality, so much talent um, that for me it will be any meeny miny more. Makes sense, makes sense. Good answer. See, that's a skipper. That's why he wears the armband. Jordan, you've won the Champions League, you've won the Prem. Where do you go from here as a team and on a personal level? What, I mean, what's the next steps? Well, it's to, it's to continue to improve. You know, we still, we still feel as though we can get better, we can improve um, on, this, on this season, um, of course. And that's what we'll try to do. We'll keep working as hard as we possibly can try to improve, follow what the gaffer wants us to do and hopefully that leads us to more success because like I say, once you've had that taste of it, you want it again and again and again and you need to keep that hunger and that desire to want to keep going and win more trophies and I, I feel as though we've definitely got that within the squad. When you was younger, did you actually ever imagine winning a Prem and a Champions League? You dreamt it. Certainly, I dreamt it. You know, Champions League, I can remember going... When I was really young um, at Old Trafford, Juventus v Milan, Champions League final. And of course, one day you, you wish that you can be there playing and, and obviously win it. Um, so in Premier League is something that I've always dreamed of winning. So of course you dream of it. Um, but to actually do it um, is, is two different things. So yeah, I just feel so lucky and, and so honoured to be part of this, this team. Um, and what we've achieved over the past year. And like I say, hopefully we can just continue to grow, continue to, to want more and, and give everything to, to win more trophies in the future. Uh, also, Jordan, at one point, I mean, I, I, I remember when we were speaking before, you guys were in a very good position in terms of the league. It seems quite comfortable. At that point, I must admit, I was convinced you guys were going to win. Did you not let that thought even come into your head, the fact that you have won it already, or did you just try and stay humble and focused? What's that like, knowing that you're so close, but at the same time so far? Yeah, that's that's a challenge, you know, when especially if, if outside noise is speaking about, yeah, if, if we've already won it at certain points of the season. Um, but as a player and as a team, I felt as though we dealt with that situation really well. The focus was always on the next game, and that comes from the manager, you know, and the leaders within the team. The focus was always on the next game and for that 90 minutes, that was our cup final, we'd give everything. Um, and then once that was done, we'd move on to the next one and, and keep the focus to each game rather than thinking about the end goal. And Because you can't really, you can't affect that now, you know. The only thing that we could affect was each game and that 90 minutes at that time. And that's the way football is and you can't focus too far ahead. Yeah, I think that's very good advice. Not even just in, in football, I think just like in life in general, one step at a time. There's that saying as well, one brick at a time. Well, Jordan, I want to say congratulations on winning the Champions League and the Prem. Um, you have fulfilled your childhood dream. I'm buzzing for you, bro. I want to wish Thank you all the you. best for next season um, and all the lads as well at Liverpool. Uh, most success as well for next season. I've been no, your boy, young Philly. He's been Jordan Henderson, the Premier League champion. <laughs> we are over and out. <laughs> Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and then turn on that little bell because that way you get like an email when we've uploaded a video. Go do that now. <laughs>